Dr. Frini Ginuwalo has been hailed as a torchbearer of our post-apartheid parliament. The liberation icon passed away at her home on Thursday at the age of 90 after having suffered a stroke earlier. A private cremation ceremony has been held today. International Relations Minister Nali Lady Pando joins us now to reflect on the legacy of the struggle stalwart. And Minister Pando, thank you for your time. I do believe you are making your way from that um, uh, funeral now. If you can, I understand privacy is key in these very sensitive moments, especially involving family. Um, can you give us a sense of the type of celebration, I suppose, and marking of the great life um, that was um, um, seen today? Well, uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for the opportunity. Um, the uh, service was a very solemn uh, service and yet uh, with a lot, lot of uh, warmth and, and uh, humour. Uh, members of the family spoke, so uh, we had uh, an indication from the family that there will be a, uh, an official memorial service. And it is at that service that uh, formal speeches uh, would be made. So uh, in the uh, service, in the funeral service, uh, the invited uh, members of the uh, funeral service uh, who were friends and colleagues uh, of Comrade Frini, Speaker Dunoir, uh, were invited uh, to say a few words, each of us just really reflecting mm. on our memories of this iconic South African uh, leader. And uh, a few of us spoke, including the uh, Speaker of the National As Assembly, who now occupies uh, the very seat uh, that Frini Ginola was the first to occupy in a democratic uh, South Africa. Now, you have been a member of parliament since 1994, probably the most historic sitting of our uh, more recent democratic history. And the experiences that you and your comrades would have had during that time will probably bind you forever. And there was Freni Junwala as your very first speaker. What comes to mind about her when you think of those particular days as you came to terms with the space and the time you found yourselves in? Um, I think the first thing really would be uh, that surprise at the very competent manner uh, in which she took up uh, what would have been a, a new position uh, to her. Uh, you may be aware that uh, two uh, persons were nominated, members of our caucus, for the position of speaker. This was uh, still the early democratic days mm. of the caucus of the African National Congress. And we had two nominees, uh, Pravin Gordon and Frini Jinwala. The uh, matter was then put to a vote. We had to choose between the two. And overwhelmingly, the vote was for uh, Comrade Frini Jinwala. Um, and uh, thereafter, we had the sitting where she was nominated by uh, Comrade Winnie uh, Mandela and uh, was elected speaker and had to immediately get down uh, mm. uh, to the job. I think uh, Parliament had staff who were very uh, able and there was some of the experienced previous uh, clerks uh, of the National Assembly had stayed on and they provided support to her, but she was totally um, you know, enthusiastic, very engaged, very competent, in the House, she brooked no nonsense, mm. but allowed us uh, uh, the democratic uh, right to, to speak. She uh, gave space to uh, opposition parties and ensured that we were truly an uh, open parliament. Uh, mm. I remember that uh, at the beginning, uh, some parties had a preference for closed committee meetings and mm. were not keen that the committees of parliament should be open she would have none of it. Mm -hmm. Committees had to be open. Uh, the Parliament of South Africa post-apartheid, in her view, is a democratic parliament, and it's one in which the people of South Africa should have a voice, should be able to oversee, and indeed uh, it became 
uh, a very open parliament. Our committees are open. Um, you would know it's very rare mm. uh, to have a closed uh, committee meeting in the parliament of South Africa, unlike many other parliaments uh, across the world. And it was really the stamp of uh, Frini Genwala that gave that openness and uh, that space uh, the right to the people of South Africa. Of course, after all, uh, the parliament is a parliament of the people. And that is something that was just mentioned by your colleague, your cabinet colleague, Toko Didiza now as well. She speaks about the impact of Genuala and that uh, uh, being one of the big uh, pieces of legacy of, of her time, that access and transparency is part and parcel of our everyday parliamentary life. Now, um, uh, Minister, you later served with Genuala as presiding officers of parliament. I've just seen photos online, old photos of the two of you walking down the red carpet together at one particular opening of parliament. That would have been, I think, during Tabo Mbeki's time. Um, we've heard mm. repeatedly people speak about how she didn't suffer fools. She was no nonsense. She was always fully prepared. But what was she like, if you could uh, take us in your confidence? What was she like in those little stolen moments where perhaps the, the job wasn't uh, top of mind uh, right in that moment? Well, I'm pleased to to be able to say that Frini was also a lot of fun. She had an amazing sense of humor and would make these really awful jokes from time to time. <laughs> and we'd be roaring with laughter. Um, and then, of course, we would talk from time to time uh, uh, fashion because she had the most amazing uh, saris. And uh, every state of the nation, she'd come up with a new uh, way of, of uh, wearing you know, her different saris. So I said to her, where did you get your material? And she used to tell me such fibs about where she was buying material. So she never shared the secret. Uh, but, uh, you know, really a wonderful person, extremely intelligent. Uh, I was telling one of my colleagues that she could read a financial statement oh. really well. And when the CFO was called into the office, and if it was her and I in the same office, you could see the poor gentleman really <laughs> shaking because he knew he'd be asked very clear, very focused questions. She brooked no laziness. Uh, she was a hard worker, uh, uh, very committed uh, and committed to the African National Congress, mm. but not prepared to be subjective in that commitment by, you know, being attached to it in all uh, uh, cases so where there was a need for reprimand she would reprimand and speak her mind we're going to leave it there thank you so much for your time and and thanks for taking us in your confidence for those lovely stories and memories of freni Genwala. that's international relations minister naledi pando joining us virtually there